Hey there, Bunny. I thought today we could go for a special date. I wanted to make you feel better since I know times have been pretty low. I know what it's like to lose someone special, and I know you do too. But you don't have to feel bad about it anymore. You got me, and I'll protect my bunny with everything I've got. And you don't need to worry, because I've got a master plan to cheer you up today. I know, with Epidemic and all the other things going on, we've had to go into our own. And now that we're on our way, we're nearly there to the, well, to a place where things might be a little bit nicer. Yeah, going over here again. I know it's a bit nostalgic, but I thought if we went to the beach now, that it's spring and stuff and a little bit nicer here in Japan. I thought it might make things a little better. Huh. I totally wasn't thinking about you and swimwear. I mean, if it looks nice on you, then great. I think you could look nice in anything. You don't need to go to the extreme. Please, only wear what you're comfortable in. I would be more than happy just to see you smiling. Outfits just accentuate your beauty and how cool you look. I guess in a way. I finally kind of understand what Kirishima means when he says beauty cool. Because right now, there isn't anyone in the world who could compare to my bunny. And I know that'll never change. I'm so proud of you, bunny. Everything you've been through, everything we've been through, you've inspired me so much to stand up to those who have hurt me, have used me. I'm not just a pushover anymore. And I'm slowly being more brave, both in our relationship and in life in general. I'm just trying to be as brave as I can. If not, it'd be too sad. And besides, I wouldn't be able to help you very much in your times of need. If I was just a pushover, no more. I may still have my anxiety, which is a daily battle, and I know nobody... You could beat it, but it's not really ever gone. My anxiety. I won't let it hold me back. No, oh, Bunny. I love you so much. I still can't get used to all these places and things and people, but I'm glad we got our own spot on the train. It feels a little nicer, you know? Whenever I kiss your lips, I just know things are going to be okay. I want you to feel that way too. Because you deserve it on so many levels. You deserve to feel amazing, happy, and otherwise awesome. I refuse. I refuse to let you just be sad and sulking. Because I know how easy that feeling is represented by that feeling over and over again. It just repeats and can easily put you into a slump. But I won't let you. I won't let you be sad, Bunny. I'll protect you from all those bastards out there who would do you harm. All of them. Who would make you sad. Or use you and abuse you. I won't let a single one of them stand. And no matter what I have to become. No matter what kind of monster. I'll be that if it means I can make you smile. Of course I'd rather be a hero. I'd rather do it through scrupulous means instead of ones that are bad. But I'm more than happy to compromise. If it means my bunnies say okay you stood up for me when no one else could. You made me feel like a person when no one else did. And I can never replace that feeling. No one can ever have the feelings I have for you, Bunny. No one. Not anyone who ever tries. No matter what they do. They'll never be you, Bunny. Never ever. 
Never ever. I love you so much. And we're gonna have so much fun this time. We're gonna have fun every single day. And make sure that this little vacation away from things turns into a much, much bigger thing. I want this to be the most special outing we've ever had since we started dating. I want it to be a one-of-a-kind experience. <sighs> Where there's not too many people, but also there's a lot of different places we can visit. A lot of different things we can do. I may not seem like it, but I've got some connections out here where the beach is, and I just thought maybe we could do a little exploring, have a little fun, and when it's all said and done, we could live it up at a small beach resort for a while. I don't need too much. I've been saving for a while. After all, I've been one of the top heroes around, so it worked out. It's really so amazing. We're actually on the trip on the way. About to go live it up for a while. I never thought I'd get a vacation like this. Especially not when you are going through a tough time. I don't mean that I'm happy about the tough time. But I'm happy I can be there for you. I know that sometimes all you need is a hug. And maybe you need more than a hug. And that's okay. Give me a bunny. <laughs> Maybe a kiss, too. You always make my heart jump. Whenever I get a chance, I want to hold you even closer. I want to wash all those tears away and make sure that no matter what, you feel loved. You feel appreciated, and everything works out just fine with all those things that have been on your mind. All those things you feel you can't handle, I'll handle them with you. I'll make sure that we deal with this together, because I know how difficult it is. We both lost a lot. Both to modern times in the past. It's never quite as easy, is it? But now we're doing something like going to live it up in a place where it's gonna be that much better. It's gonna be that much happier. I... I just... I understand. It's not always so easy to move forward, but I believe you can. I'll help you. I'll help you as much as it takes. I'll make sure that every memory from here forward that I can possibly make happy, I'll make it happy and good because I love you. I'll never stop. No matter what happens, I'll make sure that I take good care of my bunny. Just like you've taken such good care of me. I know I'm not the most bold, and that I've got a lot to learn, but, but you've been so patient and kind to me. Please, just relax. I'll take care of everything. My loving bunny, you mean the world to me, and I want to be your love and your best friend forever. I want to be the best husband ever in the future and um i know that's embarrassing it makes me shake with excitement and happiness but i'm just so happy to have met you thank you for being a part of my life bunny i'll always be a part of yours and i'll always fight for that smile of yours because you deserve it you know not long ago I was thinking about things, how they should be, how they aren't, and I realized I could still do a lot more. I could still make things a little bit better, and that's why I like to hold you close like this. 
And that's why I've realized I need to do even more and be an even better lover than I have been. Because you need me now, don't you? And I need you. <laughs> Bunny, you make me feel so complete. I feel like I'm a superhero. I mean, even though I technically am, I just feel like more of one, you know? All thanks to you, Bunny. I just want to kiss you forever. <sighs> I've gotten more brave. I can look at you and not see a potato anymore. I'd say that's progress of the most basic degree, but I'm proud of it, even still. I don't have to see many people as potatoes, but I am mostly looking at the floor, so it's slightly less scary. But, but, it's sometimes a little crazy to think of how much progress I've made thanks to my bunny. Who would have thought going to that diner that day would lead me to the love of my life? Someone who wants me as more than just a tool for justice or a tool to be used for something or another. I definitely never feel like you used me and I'm glad because I feel alive around you. I feel like I get to have a future instead of be a tool. I get to be my own person and I feel so liberated. Thank you, Bunny, for always standing up for me. For always being mine. So, Bunny, what's the first thing you want to do? Oh, it looks like we're here. Let's, uh, wait until everyone else gets off the train first, if that's okay. Yeah, Th thank you. Um, don't worry, I'll get better over time. It's just, I don't think I'm brave enough yet. Not quite yet, anyways. I still got a ways to go, and I, I just need to try my best, right? Then maybe everything will be easier next time. And there won't be so many eyes staring at me. It's such a double-edged sword, being a famous hero. But I don't really care too much for the fame. At least my hood helps me. It's just not enough sometimes. I'm not a stranger to struggling. But I feel like when I hold your hand, I'm a different person entirely, Bunny. You've inspired me so much, changed me so much that I I feel like I'm a new man every time. I feel so safe and like I have a proper place to be, a proper place to feel. Instead of just always being hung up on what others see me as and stuff, I just, I, um, I'm not sure. Sometimes I get at a loss of words and I just want to hold you. I want to hold you so close. Maybe this sounds like I'm just a one-tracked mind, but I'm not. Whenever I hold you, it's like I'm at home. Not, not that place, because I'd never call it a home. Not the house where I grew up. But the home is in the heart. And I feel at home with you, Bunny. You're the only person who's ever made me feel that way. You make me feel like I'm a person rather than just an object to fulfill a goal. I love you so much. <laughs> and even though we're here, I could spend the rest of forever right in this moment with you. I don't need anything fancy in order to be happy, you know? When it really boils down to it. I guess I'm just so madly in love with you that I'm afraid of if you get too far away, will you just forget about me? <laughs> that is reassuring. I never knew a hug could feel so warm and kind. 
until I had a hug from you. I love you, Bunny. And I want you to feel better. I'll do everything I can. No matter how tough it is, we'll get through together, okay? I won't let anyone take that away from us. And no matter how much things seem like they can't get better, we'll find a way, okay? You can trust me. I'll never betray you, and I'll always find a way to make life more happy with us together. Even when we're far away distance-wise, I'll do everything I can to make it truly special. I want you to feel special and brave and awesome and like the hero you are to me. You've saved me from so many bad things, you know. Ever since I can remember, you've been saving me. Well, since we'd met. It all feels so different. I don't feel like it's just a dead-end thing anymore. Like I'm a hero by association rather than by my own merits. I, I feel like I could be someone. For once in my life, I feel like I'm actually doing the right thing for the right reason. Instead of just trying to be like Mirio. It's no good to just imitate. I gotta do more than that. I gotta be my own man. So that my bunny... My bunny feels safe. I could kiss you forever, bunny. Truly, I could kiss you forever. And it never feels like I have to force myself to talk when it comes to you. And I feel like I have a place where I can share my thoughts and feelings and passions. And like you actually care instead of it being just me forcing someone to listen or trying to be heard. You always pay such good attention to me. I hope I make you feel the same. I always try and give you my ear and make sure that when you're sad, you got this shoulder to cry on. And if you don't want to cry, you got this hand to hold. Bunny, you'll always be my number one, my hero. And I'll always try and be yours. Sometimes, hugs like this they make all the difference in the world. <laughs> Just like the kisses. <laughs> my bunny. You'll always be my bunny, won't you? <laughs> Now we could stay here, but I think the train's about to leave, so we might want to go before the crowd gets here. <laughs> Let's get going, Bunny. <sighs> the sound of the outdoors. The smell of the ocean. Can you smell it? It's refreshing. So clean. <laughs> I'm glad they did that. Preservation Act not too long ago. Those heroes that cleaned out the ocean, now it's crystal clear. It's never been this clear ever in all of history. And now here we are, able to enjoy it. I'm thankful for their hard work, because it takes a lot to care for something that big, I'd imagine. <laughs> I love you so much, Bunny. You sick of hearing it yet? <laughs> oh, bunny. Take my hand. I'm gonna lead the way. This time, the shaking is a uh, excitement. I'm sure of it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Coming through. <laughs> Maybe it would be best. If you led the way, 
I keep on bumping into people. The potato people at that. No, you're right. I shouldn't view them as potatoes. They're people too. Not just potato heads walking around. Anyways, let's go down to the beach. You can see it from here. We just need to walk a bit. Are you excited? It's the perfect time of day. I feel like it's going to be just warm enough. Where it's not too cold, but not too warm either. The water will be refreshing, and we can get all kinds of food from the stall. There's a restaurant, and then the hotel's over there. It's less a hotel and more like a... Um, I'm not sure what to call it. It's sort of like a hut on the beach, but it's pretty nice and big. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, we'll see it soon enough. I think you can see it. Look over there. See? That looks like it. Maybe? Maybe the numbers are wrong that I got. Let me check. No. That can't be right. Did somebody mix things up? That place is too nice. That's not a hut on the beach. That's like a chateau. Now I'm nervous. Maybe I made a mistake, but... No. It couldn't be. Maybe Mirio had something to do with this. He has been making quite a lot of money lately, but this is excessive. Even if it's just for one or two nights. That's way too big for just the two of us. Hello? Is anyone there? I guess not. Looks like it must be the right place. Well, if that's the case, here you go. I picked out matching swimwear for us. Not that it's completely matching, but that it's matching enough that we'll look like we're a c c couple. I was hoping maybe when we're at the beach, we could have some fun and... Are you okay? Honey, hey, snap out of it. Don't worry about that. I got you. No matter what you feel like, we can always wait for that. You don't seem like you're doing so well today. Maybe it's best that we take a break. There was lots of travel and I think maybe you just need a small break. I've got you. Don't worry, bunny. Leave everything to me. See this big comfy bed? Yeah, let's get you in there. Tuck you in nicely and we'll just cuddle the day away then. <laughs> I don't regret a thing. Now that we're here, we can't have you getting sick on the first day and getting wet in the ocean might be a bad idea. Especially if you're feeling under the weather already. No, it's okay. I'll take care of everything, okay? You don't have to worry, bunny. I've got you, and I'll protect you, just as sure as my name is Tamaki Amajiki. Just as sure as you are my bunny. They say you can save someone from a sickness by kissing it away, so maybe I'll do that. Just relax, bunny. I'll handle everything. <laughs> you don't have to worry, bunny. You're gonna be just fine. Feeling your forehead, I can tell you have a slight fever, but... <laughs> that smile tells me you're not that sick. Sorry. I just have a sick sense for... When... My bunny's not feeling that great. And I had to do something about it. Otherwise, we would have continued the day and we could make good use of these 
tomorrow to begin with. So, there's no rush. We'll be matching and looking fine, but you need to get better first. And... <laughs> Kissing me so suddenly and so boldly. <laughs> That's so like you, Bunny. And I love you more for it every day. <laughs> Bunny, you want to know something funny? Whenever things tend to get bad, and I think of all the sad times, I just have to look you right in the eyes, and suddenly I can just forget about all that. I can be more okay than I've been in years. I can be myself so unapologetically, you know? And I can actually feel whole when I'm with you, instead of feeling like I'm just some kind of half-hearted person. Thank you for coming into my life, Bunny. I know there's many things we still have to discuss and figure out, but at least we're able to make some progress, right? You mean the world to me. And nothing can take that away. Not a single thing. So for now, Bunny. Just relax. Let it all out in my arms and just... Be you. <laughs> you have such a cute smile. It makes my heart flutter every time. Bunny, what are you doing? <laughs> You're being rather sassy, aren't you? And then again, I can't say I'm surprised. You've always had a way of turning things on me. In the best possible way. <laughs> you might be the sick one. Why does it feel like you're taking care of me? You're so cute, Bunny. <laughs> I just want to hold you forever. But something tells me my Bunny's a bit more needy than that. You don't just want to be held all day. You want to feel loved, happy, fulfilled, complete. It's a good thing I feel the exact same way I do every single day. There hasn't been a single time I felt like it wasn't worth it. You're worth it to me, Bunny. You're the most special person in my entire life, and no one, no one's ever done what you've done. You should be proud. But that's only the start. You've made me consider things and you also have a way with being just a bit of a rebel anytime I try and do something here you're always rebelling against it doing your own thing instead <laughs> it's that grand rebellion of yours that made me fall madly in love with you under that moonlight night when I told you the story, how you became my bunny. I learned, you're definitely not someone who wants to be contained, even if sometimes, sometimes we differ. I might not be as bold as you, and that's okay. I don't mind that, because I'm learning. And... Looks like you're just itching to <laughs> take care of me, aren't you? You silly bunny. You can't do that. You're the sick one, remember? Well, I don't think you're gonna listen. And that's okay, too. <laughs> You 
You, you're a sneaky one, buddy. Tricking me to get all these cuddles with you. Well, it wasn't exactly tricking me, just... Your sickness. You used it as a leverage, didn't you? <laughs> I'll forgive you if you admit it. <laughs> Not too shabby, bunny. You totally had me fooled. <laughs> You're one naughty bunny sometimes. Get in your way no matter what. But you really did have a fever, so I guess it's only half tricking me. <laughs> I love you, bunny. I love you so much. I just want to kiss you forever now. That can't be too much to ask, can it? Infinite kisses, infinite cuddles for life. That'll be the price for you tricking me. Sounds fair, right? <laughs> I'll have to pay you back for being such a devilish little bunny. I can't just let that slide. Otherwise, you'll walk all over me. <laughs> I love you, Bunny. From the day we met to forevermore, I'm always gonna be by your side. I'll always love you, Bunny. I'll always want to make you mine. And I'll always strive to be the man of your dreams, no matter who else may try. I'll push them all out of the way, because I'm confident I'm the best man for you. I'm the man who's gonna be your husband, no matter what. Now stay just right there, bunny. <laughs> and I'm gonna stay here too. All those bad things in the world that can't reach us here. Did you know that if we cuddle and hug, if we make the most of our time, I'm sure there's nothing bad that could ever reach us again. We've got each other and we could run away from the rest of the world. We could go and be together forever no matter what. <laughs> All I want is you by my side forever. You in my arms, just like this. I live for moments like this. <sighs> I live for that expression on your face of content. That expression of happiness. And I live for that moment when I get to tease you back. <laughs> It might just be a teasing war, Bunny. I hope you're in it for the long haul. Or you might just be a little disappointed. <laughs> I'd be careful making a villain out of me. <laughs> I could be a pretty scary one. I mean, I bet there's some alternate reality where I am. I wonder what kind of villain I am. Do you think I'm like all for one? Maybe even scarier. <laughs> oh well. I'm glad that's not this reality. And I'm sure we'll never see it, so... Everything should be just fine. If we melt into each other and just... Just relax. I could melt into you for days, weeks, years. Infinite. And I will for all time. I love you. And I'll always say it, you know. But even more importantly, I'll always follow my heart and make the actions add up to the same as my words. Because actions and words, together, they're the only thing that matters. Just words without action. Just action without words. They both hold faults and things that they could do better. 
And that's why I want to be a combination of both. That way, no matter what happens, you're not going to feel alone. And you'll be able to believe when I say something. And I'll follow through every single time. I want you to trust me, Bunny. Trust me forever. And I'll earn it, no matter what it takes. No matter what.